Hi, this is Anthony from West Coast Custom Concrete, the best in the West. This video will be in Huntington Beach. It'll be a um, pour in place concrete bench with a gas fire pit on it. Here's the, the house here. Um, it was demoed out. My friend demoed it out. He had a, a deal with the lady who owned the house and she ended up letting me design the whole backyard with the color scheme. I had this grand OCI idea to um, do this stamp antique and all this stuff. And then I figured out there's too much going on. So I simplified it, but we did a big um, concrete pour in place bench with a fire pit. We put lights in the led really high end lights into the, um, into the uh, bench and we put a fire pit in front of it. They're going to put glass in it and we sunk a jacuzzi in and we diamond groove the whole backyard. That'll be the next video. This, this one here is the uh, bench, which took all that lumber right there is for the pour in place bench that we did. And we had to regrade the whole thing. I thought it was closer to the grade, but we took about a, a super 10 wheeler dirt out of the backyard in a uh, Javier being the master carpenter. He built the whole thing. And then we put it together like a puzzle, the uh, bench. You'll see it coming up. And I use colored concrete. I use gray pewter on the bench and the fire pit. And I use regular straight cement concrete on the flat work. And we diamond grooved it. That'll be the next video. And um, here's the boxes we're putting together to put this. That's Robin. He came out for the day to help. And we're uh, getting all this together here. So we built the thing up. It's pretty big. The bench in the fire pit was about eight and a half yards. That's how big it is. And um, it was a lot of concrete. And we sandblasted all the concrete at this house. So that'll be a really cool um, finish when you see the next video of it finished. Here's the back panel for it. I mean, this thing should be in the Smithsonian next to one of Da Vinci's sculptures. This thing is a work of art. All the wood once we when we stripped it filled the um my bobtail up with with lumber to take to the dump that's how much lumber this thing took we put a pretty good footing on it uh, my friend danny and his guys ran the gas lines and everything there was already existing drains back there but i had to reset it all we had to dig all new drain lines for water drainage when i poured the um, flat work on it to get it all going to it so we put in a sunken jacuzzi this pour in place uh seated bench the gas fire pit and then we poured the whole backyard in concrete and in the back right corner she's putting a putting green and then my friend's putting an awning on it with a roof like a really nice one a high-end roof right where we're setting this up there's gonna be a patio cover this is real close this is right across the street from the water i could literally hit the water with a rock from this house right at golden west and pch and we're just putting this thing together, uh, snapping it together. We got to get the, the frame up first, and then we'll throw all the boxes together the way we did it, or the way Javier figured out to do it. The guy's a master carpenter. So we use screws because when you strip it, there's a major timing issue on this thing. You, It's probably better to pull it a little early than a little late. You'll get some honeycombing, and you'll just have to leave a wheelbarrow of mud and wet it up a little bit, trowel it back on it which we had a little bit of honeycombing and you got to put motor oil all over these forms. So we rolled it on heavy the day, the night before and the morning of here's my bro, Milton, him and his son. That's his son. That's usually with him working. He does a really good job with helping Javier. And we put two stands on each end of the bench so you could put drinks or food or whatever, like an armrest almost. This thing, it took us about, I don't know, 12 days to do this job, but the rain, it rained for eight to 10 days in between. And, and the soil was, of course, Orange County clay. It was super expansive. Like when I dug the jacuzzi in the back there, it expanded. It just blew up. I mean, it was a super 10 wheel of dirt I took out of here. That'll be in the next video, the jacuzzi and the flat work. I mean, th this thing, huh, this thing, I couldn't say how good this thing came out. So we're getting elevations of this bench and this, this is how we did the boxes to screw it together. And when we strip it later, you'll see it. It just comes apart like a puzzle. There we go here. We're just screwing this thing all together here. This bench is the absolute work of art. But using screws is the way to go when you have to unstrip, when you have to strip something like this. Cause there's so much stripping. I mean, there was like five of us, I think when we poured it and stripping it, there's so much detail 
and we had a cantilever lip on the front. Here's a cage we're going to put in it. This thing's built to last, like everything I do. But this job here is indicative of what my company is and what kind of work we do. You'll see the finished product of this. Here he is. We're tying it all up here. Put a pretty good size footing on this too. And we sandblasted the uh, the, the uh, bench and the fire pit more of a, of a lighter. And I did a little heavier sandblast with a little exposed aggregate on the flat work. Probably about a number 15 with a little exposed aggregate if you're using top cast. But um, any any splash or overspray we got on this bench, we just I just sandblasted it off almost like a wash. I roughed it up a little bit. So she's getting um, custom made cushions to put on it and pillows. So. I roughed it up a little bit so they'll, they'll sit on it a little better. I mean, this thing took a whole load of um, material to build. So Milton and Javier are putting this together. I wish this was my backyard. I mean, this thing, she let me design the whole thing, the bench, the way I wanted to do it, the fire pit. Uh, the flat work, I diamond grooved it, four foot diamonds, sandblasted it. I used regular concrete on the flat work and I used pewter color on the bench and the fire pit just to offset it because the fire pit with the glass in it and this seated bench is the uh, showpiece of the backyard. The jacuzzi came out really nice too, the sunken jacuzzi we put in. Here's these boxes he made and then we just snapped it all together or screwed it together. Now we're on, the bench is completed, all set up. Now we're just getting the um, fire pit ready, set up here. We're getting elevations on it to get it flat. You won't see anyone else on YouTube do anything like this because, for one, they don't know how to bid it. For two, they're not even capable of doing it. This thing is no easy task. There's not as much money as you think in these. I'd rather do driveways and patios, but... When you're going with custom concrete, you gotta you gotta do stuff like this. It's just the way it is. But it's really hard to bid. I hadn't done them in a while, stuff like this. So now I got it down. I know exactly how to bid it, what everything cost on it. Here's my pump here. We're gonna run it at about I don't know a four and a half inch slump or something like that. Stack that wall and that the seat on the back is pretty high up. So I'll get it how I want it. Chuck will come look at it too, and I don't need to tell him. He knows exactly how to get it. Clamping this up here. It's about 125 feet of hose, so it's I can pump it as stiff as I want with that much hose or that little of hose. Here's Chuck here backing up. Well, I think we got eight and a half yards for the bench and the fire pit. And we're gonna pour the bottom of the um of the jacuzzi, the vault. So you gotta turn it down and 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 you know you don't want any blowouts, but this thing's really over over-engineered Javier really does it where it's not going to blow out anywhere I could pump it faster but there's no reason I'll just prime the pump out faster and then I'll slow it down and you don't need a vibrator or nothing like that like people keep writing on here when you've when you've pumped as many years of I as I have you can push the hose down and feel the air pockets and it's centrifugal force with gravity I'll push the hose down in there until it bleeds back up above where I have the hose and uh, there's no air pockets there's no you don't need to vibrate it you'll see when we strip it I guess people are adamant from the way they learn, but they're not doing work like this, so it really doesn't matter. That's about a four and a half, I'd say. And then that's electrical. Danny ran, my friend Danny, who brought me to do the job, ran. There's some custom LED lights. They're super expensive. There's going to be two on the long end of the bench, and one right where I'm in front of where I'm standing, that point down, and then the glass in the, in the fire pit. I mean, this thing showcase, this thing... It just the next video I do is a final product with the flat work, the bench, the jacuzzi, the fire pit, everything together. I separated it because um, this is such a work of art. I wanted to detail and put more time on each on each section. So the other section I did was the jacuzzi and the uh, flat work, and this one I did the fire pit, obviously, and then the bench. So I'm I'm gonna wash my pump out now and um, come back and help strip because we got about five six guys here today. It looks like it's not that much work, but it is so much work and detail and edging. So I'm going to wash my pump out here, and then we're going to start stripping the thing pretty quick. It went off pretty quick. It blew up straight cement. 
the way I pour everything, no additives. It goes off much quicker, plus the embedded in the in those forms and stuff, it's gonna go off pretty quick. There's the best in the West. The guys Javier brought, I, I liked a lot. These fit guys, he brought these two finishers. They had a good attitude. They were into it. So we're loosening the screws on a bunch of sides. Now we're going to start pulling it. You got to methodically pull this thing. You got to know when to do it. This is for no amateur to, to do this thing. And then once, it, once you strip it, there's so much work to be done on it. You know, you got three guys next to you and you're trying to do edges and corners. It's kind of rough. So each guy kind of needs his own area, and then you go to the other side. So we're starting to hit this now here. You can see the shape of it, get the idea of what I did. Uh, they put a board up, a, a plywood there, to block the sun off the uh, fire pit because we're going to kill these, this uh, bench out first and, and make that thing, the fire pit, hang up as long as we can so we don't have to deal with it because the sun was going that, that way right there. Here it is here. The next video I post, you'll see this whole backyard. I mean, there's nothing like this on YouTube. That's why I'm the crown prince of it, of putting videos on YouTube. Either other people's videos aren't that good or mine are just that good. I'm not sure. I think it's a little bit of both. So here's a fire pit here. They haven't put the glass in it and stuff after I finished it. So um, there it is there. There's the best in the West. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good one.